Hello and welcome back to the video. Today I'm here to unbox the new MacBook Air with the M2 chip. This is the latest release from Apple and it was just launched in July of 2022. But I've already heard there's some news on the new MacBook Pro M2 Pro, so let's just get to know this one first. This laptop has 8 CPU, 8 GPU, 256 gigabytes with a 13.6 inch liquid retina display and a 30 watt USB-C charger port. This is the color space gray. I know the midnight shade has been very popular amongst people, but I just didn't want to get fingerprints on it. So the space gray works just fine for me. Some other key differences are the 13.6 inch liquid retina display screen as well as the full sized action keys that are now on the top of the keyboard. You also get a braided MagSafe charger cable, this way you don't get any splinters or open exposed wires once the cable goes through some wear and tear. The charging port also has the option to be 35 watts, so if you wanted another USB-C port, that's not an option and you can charge another device while you're at it. This is the 720p webcam on the standard MacBook Air. You can tell the difference. I'm looking a little hazy. M2 MacBook Air. So I'm sure that you guys can look into all the different features, um, what the M2 is offering. So I'm not gonna go into all the specifics. Let me explain why I bought this one and what are my thoughts so far. So the main reason that anyone should be getting a laptop is because you need a laptop. Um, you need some type of device. Uh, you don't have access to a computer. Those are all great reasons and that was my reason as well. At this point, I have sold a lot of my old Apple products, and if that's not something that you are aware of, I highly recommend it to make some Apple credit or you know get some gift cards on the side. If you are an Apple user, they upgrade models constantly, and we have you know old generation phones, iPods, computers lying around the house. That was the case for my family, and so I collected all of the old Apple products we weren't using and traded them in for Apple credit, and so that helped to finance some of this um, laptop. I know I didn't want a touch screen, so the MacBook Pro was um, out of the question because the MacBook Pros right now are all being offered with the touch screen on the top bar. And I also wanted something that I could hold on to several years, so if, if that meant putting in a bit more investment, um, I was willing to do that because I wanted to make sure I could use it for all my work and personal functions down the road. So I didn't want a touch screen. I wanted, I want to take it everywhere with me, so it's important for it to fit either in the backpack or in a shoulder bag. The 1080p webcam is also really important. Post-COVID world, we do a lot more connecting virtually, and so having that upgraded webcam is definitely a convenience and um, just seems appropriate. I do know that Zoom doesn't offer um, their video quality beyond 720p, so if you are looking to use this for work, the 1080p may not be suitable unless you upgrade to a Zoom like business plan or premium plan. So that's something to note. My thoughts so far, things I love are definitely the size and the design. The 1080p FaceTime is awesome in terms of video quality and the four speaker sound system is great for watching YouTube, watching Netflix, um, reviewing and re-watching this video that I'm about to edit. So those qualities are all really nice. Things I don't love so far that are making me a little concerned for the future is that there's no fan in the M2 MacBook Air. So there's no form of like ventilation if your computer ends up overheating. And because it is a one NAND chip, so there's only one SSD, it's a little bit slower. And so the likelihood of it warming up fast is quite common. And I don't know, you know, when I edit videos, if I were to have a lot of different like data sets pulled out, that might overwork this thing and I don't feel comfortable working on a hot computer. 
the lack of the fan and also the slow performance for the SSD speed. Those are things that I really do need to think about. I tried editing some videos this morning on the computer and I did notice some lag. And so, uh, not too thrilled about that. So for that reason, I am going to be looking into purchasing the same computer, the M2 MacBook Air with an additional gigabyte package to make it 512 gigabytes, which would increase the um, NAND chip, the NAND chip to two of them. So that way, hopefully it increases the performance and the speed of the computer and I don't run into any issues of the computer overworking and overheating itself. Why did I do this? I think the $200 investment is actually a lot more reasonable than upgrading the computer entirely into um, the 1800 zone, which is where the MacBook Pro M1 Pro chip currently stands. And a lot of the qualities I was looking for in terms of weight, size, accessibility, those convenience factors are not in the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. So I didn't want to offset these other features that I care about just for the convenience of the speed. Especially because the MacBook Pro has the touch bar on top and that's not something that I wanted um, in general. So I thought the upgrade in the SSD would be more appropriate and only be $200 compared to a $600 or plus for the new MacBook Pro. There were a lot of really great parts done about this computer in terms of the design, the features, the upgrades towards the M MacBook Pro family and how this computer looks. But decreasing the speed and the performance is definitely an area that people are going to have trouble with. And also the lack of storage in terms of this starts off 256 gigabytes and nowadays I feel like they make phones at 256 gigabytes. So, and I still have a 120 gigabyte phone and I never have storage. So that being said, um, really great qualities, some more concerning quality, but this is we're going in a great direction. Um, if you're in the market for a computer, I know they're still offering the student pricing right now if you're an educator. Um, definitely check that out and maximize it. I'm by no means a tech expert. I'm just a girl who bought my first computer with my own money. Financing is the way that I thought would be best. So I hope this helps. Definitely the MacBook Air is a beautiful laptop. It has great features as well as some areas that you might need to think about. But for myself, I'm going to give it a try. I have 14 days if I want to exchange it or return it. Um, like I mentioned, I am looking into that increased gigabyte purchase. So we'll let you know if I do that. But otherwise, this is my review.